Kratos successfully tested its new, Block 2 XQ-58A Valkyrie drone. Drone maker Kratos says it has successfully shown that its stealthy XQ-58A Valkyrie drone can fly longer, at higher altitudes, and with a heavier overall weight than has ever been demonstrated before, in a recent test flight. This news comes as the company says it is expecting to receive contract awards from two new customers for multiple Valkyries. To date, the US Air Force is the only known entity to have purchased Valkyries, and has been using a growing fleet of these drones to support various research and development and test and evolution efforts. The most well known of these is Skyborg, Air Force Research Laboratory and Air Force Life Cycle Management Center led project centered on the development of an artificial intelligence into various types of drones with high degrees of autonomy. A new Block 2 XQ-58A from a lot of 12 new production airframes that the company initially began building on its own initiative, was used for the test and this was the first time that particular drone had ever flown. The last Valkyrie in the production lot is expected to be finished next year. The recent flight proved XQ-58A's extended capabilities by flying longer, higher, at a heavier mission weight, and at a longer range than the platform has previously been approved for, based on prior government range limitations, and demonstrated, according to the release. The company says that the Block 2 XQ-58A is intended to be rapidly deployable, and to be operated even from austere locations with a relatively low footprint, too. A containerized launch system concept has been shown in the past that could be used to support these kinds of forward deployments. Kratos press release also noted that this particular test flight was in support of an AFRL effort called Autonomous Collaborative Enabling Technologies, ACT, which is focused on developing autonomous collaborative platforms, ACP, such as Collaborative Combat Aircraft, CCA. CCA is part of the Air Force's overarching Next Generation Air Dominance, NGAD, Future Air Combat Initiative, and is expected to revolve around multiple tiers of uncrewed platforms with high degrees of autonomy intended to work together on various levels with crewed aircraft. The Kratos slash AFRL team is pushing the envelope in these truly uncharted waters, continuing to evolve the capability and drive affordability in the CCA class where mission capability and effectiveness is achieved through a combination of individual and distributed CCA capability plus massive aircraft, Steve Fendley, President of Kratos Unmanned Systems Division, said in a statement related to the recent test flight. The US military is not the only one increasingly coming around to the view that multiple tiers of uncrewed systems, including ones capable of operating as part of networked autonomous swarms, will be key assets in future high-end aerial combat. This is in turn reflected by Kratos' disclosures yesterday about expected new and potential future customers. We now expect two new Valkyrie-related tactical drone system contract awards from two separate new customers from multiple aircraft, the company's president and CEO DeMarco said during an earnings call yesterday. And we have just recently begun discussions with a potential fourth new customer, also from multiple Valkyrie systems. Kratos had notably announced in 2018 that its UTAP-22, or MACO, an earlier loyal wingman design, had been cleared for export by American authorities. The company has extensive experience selling various aerial target drones, used for training and various other purposes, to foreign customers including military forces in the United Kingdom, Sweden, South Korea, and Taiwan. Whatever the case, the Valkyrie's performance envelope and capabilities look to be expanding, and new customers appear to be taking notice. Thank you for watching please like, share, comment, and subscribe.